So I want to welcome uh, Karishma Ahuja, who comes with the meditation of Ho'oponopono. And I learned to say this word very interestingly a couple of years back, when again I was hosting a show for a networking club, and uh, she was our guest there. So before her uh, lecture, I went to her and I say, could you help me pronounce this? So I just didn't know how to pronounce. So I would just go, who, po, no, or was it no, po? So I just didn't know. And then that's where um, we connected and she taught me how to say, ho, o, po, no, po, no. And that's the magic, right? So um, formally introducing you, Karishma. Uh, Karishma uh, will help us with meditation, which in turn will help us go within and connect with who we are. It will help us take 100% responsibility for our life instead of placing blame to others. We will see the opportunity in the challenges we are experiencing and discover a powerful way of connecting with our inner child to let go of those memories that continue to show up as problems in our life. Without saying furthermore, please welcome Karishma Ahuja. Good evening. Good evening. Can you hear me? Loud and clear. Loud and clear. Great. So firstly, it's a privilege to be here. I'm really delighted and uh, thank you Anu and thank you to the entire Meta Health community for what they're doing. I remember a decade ago when I was struggling with my corporate career for all the stress that I was experiencing, I used to literally look up for courses that would give me insight as to how I can tackle this issue. And when I was experiencing my own health issues, it is only later that I understood that my tonsillitis, my breathing issues, my stomach ailments, all had deep-rooted emotions settled within. And Ho'oponopono, as Niyati has given you some introduction about, is something that I came across. It's been almost 11 years now. But uh, ever since practicing Ho'oponopono, life has truly been magical. It's been special. So talking about Ho'oponopono, therefore, is very special for me because I told myself, if this works for me, I am going to spend the rest of my life sharing knowledge about Ho'oponopono with others. So firstly, I want to begin with a question. And I want someone to quickly give me the answer too. If you could just help me out with the answer. How many of us in the room? If somebody could quickly let me know. Somebody quickly shout out. How many of us right now? Quickly, somebody quickly. Somebody from the back maybe can help me. 35. Anybody else? Around 40. No. There are billions of us in the room. There are billions of us in the room. We have all showed up with our families, our relatives, our ancestors. Aren't they all with us here? Our likes, our dislikes, our preferences, our opinions, our beliefs. They're all here with us. They're all truly here with us. In fact, they say that all our ancestors are right there at the base of your spine. That is the reason why we always work on the root chakra first, because energy travels usually up through the spine. So they're all here with us here today. And therefore, any kind of change in life can only be experienced when we are working on our past. So let me share with you something that would summarize the essence of the meditation we're going to be doing. Something that will help you understand the whole open up on our process very well. Are you ready? Okay, so this was a book which was called The Five Chapters of My Life. It was written by an author called Portia Nelson. I'll quickly summarize the essence of the book for you. Chapter one of my life. I walk down the street. There is a deep hole on the sidewalk. I fall inside. Crying and shouting for help. It isn't even my fault. It still takes me a long time to find my way out. Chapter two of my life. I walk down the same street. There is a deep hole on the sidewalk. 
I've fallen again. Again crying and shouting for help. It isn't even my fault. It still takes me a long time to find my way out. Chapter 3 of my life. I walk down the same street. There is a deep hole on the sidewalk. I've fallen again. I can't help it. It is now a habit. Crying and shouting for help again. But this time, this time, my eyes are open. I know where I am. I somehow get out immediately. Chapter 4 of my life. I walk down the same street. There is a deep hole on the sidewalk. This time, I walk around it. Chapter 5 of my life. I walk down another street. Another street. <laughs> And friends, that another street is the street that we can only walk on if we free ourselves from the conditioning that we have received. You see, every time you interact with someone, you take back their energy and their experience. So what we really call as memories in our subconscious mind is every experience you may have had with someone. That's exactly what is stored within you as a memory. So research studies on the subconscious mind tell us that per second, per second, there are approximately 14 million memories running per second in your subconscious mind. Consciously, you're aware of only 11 or 12 bits of information out of these 11 to 14 million running per second. We can't walk down that new street if we don't work on our memories. So Ho'oponopono is a Hawaiian problem-solving technique. The word Ho'oponopono means to correct, to clean, to erase, to rectify. And what are we looking at rectifying? All these memories that may not be serving our good. Now, we don't know when we are erasing memories, what is going out? How can we practically know what are we erasing? But we only know that we need to do something to start feeling good in the now. So how does Ho'oponopono really work? Whenever you catch yourself not feeling good, it is said that that not feeling good is a reflection of a memory running in your subconscious mind. But here's a little demonstration of why we should welcome what we are experiencing, okay? Now, I need your help in this exercise. I'm going to be going after that goal. I need to reach that little table. But while I get to that table, I may be making some mistakes. You see, I may be off track. And then suddenly, I'll come on track. So you need to tell me and shout out, on, 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 on. Or when you see I'm off track, you're going to be shouting, off, 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 off. Are you ready? I need your help for this, okay? Guide me correctly, okay? So, here I begin. Big round of applause, you helped me get there. Okay. So, tell me, how does God, higher consciousness, higher power, who you really are, who we call as divine and universe, communicate with you? How do you receive a feedback that you need to change something? How do we receive a feedback that we need to let go of something? It is, it is when a problem comes up, that we really get inspiration to clean up, isn't it? When something comes up and you don't feel good about it, it is actually a feedback mechanism telling you, reminding you to work on your subconscious mind. Because when you are not aware of a problem, you wouldn't do something to clean up, would you? But it is only when we are facing or experiencing a problem or a challenge that you will actually end up working on yourself. 
So ho o pono pono is like pressing the delete button on the keyboard of your computer. You are one by one working on your feelings. And as you are working on your feelings, what happens? You tend to let go of that memory that could be responsible for that problem. For example, when we all watch a movie in the theater, we know that the movie is actually not running on the screen, it's on the projector. Ho o pono pono is helping us let go of memories that could be showing up as problems. So let me begin this little session quickly with a cleaning prayer. So I will request you to just simply focus on your breath while I take you through the cleaning prayer. This prayer is about re-energizing ourselves and the environment. We've already seen how important the breath is. We've already seen the importance of cleansing through our breath. But after I recite the prayer for you, I am going to making you, I'm actually going to be making you do something which is going to help you cleanse your breath further. It's called the ha breathing. Now this is going to be a very subtle form of ha breathing, a very subtle form of release. What we'll be doing is we'll be taking in slowly, holding our breath for a few seconds and breathing out, making a subtle ha sound. Let me demonstrate. I'm holding my breath for a few seconds and I'm breathing out and while I'm breathing out, I'm making a, ha a subtle ha sound. <sighs> hold, hold, hold and then release with a subtle ha sound. <sighs> okay? We'll just be doing about five rounds of ha after I recite the prayer for you. And then we can get through our meditation. Okay? So may I request you to please close your eyes. Close your eyes. And place your hand on the center of your chest. We will now be feeling our heartbeat. So keep your eyes closed and place your hand on the center of your chest. Just feel your heartbeat. I am the I. I come forth from void into light. I am the breath that nurtures life. I am that emptiness, that hollowness beyond all consciousness. The I, the id, the all. I draw my bow of rainbows across the waters the continuum of minds with matters. I am the incoming and outgoing of breath, the invisible, untouchable breeze, the undefinable atom of creation. I am the I. Let us start with round one of breathing. Let's breathe in together. Hold your breath for a few seconds. Let's breathe out. Let's breathe in. For a few seconds, hold. Let's breathe out. Breathe in. Hold your breath for a few seconds. Let's breathe out. Breathe in. Hold for a few seconds. Let's breathe out. One last time. Let's breathe in. Hold your breath. Let's breathe out. You may gently open your eyes. I will now be taking you through a short meditation. This is a meditation about connecting with your own inner child, we are going to be demonstrating a very quick way of connecting with your subconscious mind. I will be taking you through it. Just follow my instructions. Okay? Let's go. Dr. Kwesi, can we please play the meditation?
close your eyes just focus on the incoming and outgoing of your breath on your breath think of an existing challenge in your life any situation that you want to change any problem that you want to resolve let the memory of that challenge or problem come up in your mind let the problem or the memory come up if it's a particular person let the image of the person come up in your mind
for everything. We will now take permission from the child to stroke the head of the child with love. Gently, gently take your hands and stroke the head of the child. Gently stroke the head of the child. And repeat with me the following words. I am sorry. I have no idea what in me has co-created this. Please forgive me for creating this knowingly or unknowingly. Thank you for solving this for me. I love you unconditionally. take permission from the child to hug the child. Gently, gently take permission from the child to hug the child. Hug the child. Gently and warmly hug the child. And repeat with me the following words. in me has co-created this. Please forgive me for creating this knowingly or unknowingly. Thank you. Look into the eyes of the child and repeat thank you for solving this for me. All the memories are stored inside the child. The child is suffering. This problem, this challenge that we are experiencing is a memory replaying inside the child. The child is suffering. We cannot let go of the problem if we don't teach the child to let go. And therefore look into the eyes of the child and say, Please let go. Please let go. Please let go. I love you. I love you. I love you. Unconditionally. For everything. Over now. And this technique really practice.
first quest simply that we did before statements. This is one of the feeling tools we did in the whole open upon our workshop. It is really about working with your subconscious mind. The subconscious is really the child within, but the child must be brought to the game. So studies suggest that when you try to work with your child, when you're communicating with your subconscious mind, and you choose to this time not complain about the problem, but rather start to clean. So how do we practice practically deal with problems? Instead of complaining when someone shows up, we understand that it's our own That this is a problem which is replaying with my subconscious mind, but it's come up to remind me to clean. And therefore, instead of complaining, if I take it up as an opportunity for me to start cleaning, start talking to my child, then I can actually be on the way to recovery. The technique can be used for any kind of physical pain or any relationship issue or any issue you may be facing in your finances. The whole purpose of Ho'oponopono is to start feeling a sense of ease. We don't expect the problem to be resolved, but when you actually do the process, you tend to feel a sense of ease. We can only create from ease. At other times, we are only experiencing problems. Let us start pressing the delete button on the keyboard of our computer called life. I would simply like to end my session with a gentle reminder. Nothing in our present circumstances carries the power to block the cosmic intention that we be blessed, that we learn to heal ourselves. And therefore, let us take problems as opportunities to start question you have for me? Thank you so much.